Okay, this is a teardown of uh, the CP05 ACDC current probe, another um, bit of test and measurement equipment you can get off eBay at a, a very good price. Uh, if you're trying to measure current in your circuitry, the uh, the clamp-on probe is actually the best choice uh, because it doesn't disturb the circuit. What happens is you place one of the power leads uh, through the ring here and uh, it measures the magnetic field that's generated around the wire. Uh, so unlike, say, a, a DC meter, uh, it doesn't uh, put any resistance into your circuit, so that's grand. This one's actually really handy because it actually has a couple of banana lead uh, outputs in that you can connect to an oscilloscope and uh, you can then do transient measurements, which is um, a big deal uh, when you're looking at power draw. Um, I won't actually do much more measurements on this one, this is more of a teardown video, but uh, this is pretty standard. It seems to have ranges 4 amps, 40 amps, 200 amps in this particular one. A little zeroing button, that's so you can null out the, the straight magnetic fields um, and create accurate measurements. In terms of performance, uh, beyond the actual ampere ranges and uh, basic accuracy, uh, this is a, a 10 kilohertz bandwidth unit, uh, which is uh, near the, the bottom of uh, the bottom end of the range for, uh, for uh, ammeters. But from the particular purposes I've purchased this for, it's actually quite adequate. You can get units all the way up to 50, uh, 50 megahertz. Tektronix makes a wonderful line, but you know they run into the thousands of dollars as usual. So this one was way under $100, and um, that's actually a pretty fair price. Okay, so this is the uh, inductive sensor. It's basically uh, two half shells of ferrite. Uh, this one's just simply ferrite and encased in plastic. Then over here, uh, much more interesting, we see the uh, uh, flexible cable here. And then it goes to actually two sides of the uh, the product. If you pry out the uh, end here, you can see there's actually a little sensor on it. Okay, well let's see how this thing works. There's a, what appears to be a couple of Hall effect sensors and what they do is they convert magnetic flux to current. Uh, Google them, they're really fascinating devices if you ever run into them. Uh, there's going to be a, the ferrite that I've disassembled and the case goes around these and what happens is a, a wire passes through it that carries current that induces a magnetic field onto the uh, the ferrite and then the, this, it channels it through the, the two Hall effect sensors. Now they convert over here onto a little ribbon cable attachment point. Um, on this side here we have the output of the circuitry. This is the two jacks that go to the meter leads or your scope. An OP07, that's an impedance converter. Uh, you can see one, two, three adjustment pots. So what's going on there is uh, any sort of uh, ammeter has ranges, 4 amps, 40 amps, 200 amps in this particular one. And what are these are basically is variable resistors and there's some adjustment points on them but they're probably for this op07 feedback circuit you basically switch in different uh, amplification factors uh, in terms of this side over here uh, there's actually a kind of interesting part here uh, the product needs to generate both a positive and negative voltage being battery powered uh, it's only three volts so this thing actually produces a negative three volts uh, these parts here couldn't actually find their markings here i think they were more generic op amps um, I think these two here basically are doing some sort of bridge circuit and this item here seems associated with a zeroing button so there's some sort of nulling function in this so it uh, looks pretty straightforward. So it's pretty easy to prove that these sensors are actually um, Hall effect. What I have here is I've just put an external power supply on I've got the voltmeter connected to the output terminals um, reading negative voltage at the moment it's because I haven't zeroed the meter but uh, if I take a magnet and bring them close to the Hall effect sensors, you can see the voltage changes, which kind of indicates that indeed, and no surprise, that they are um, affected by uh, magnetic fields. In terms of build quality, uh, it looks like the whole board was hand soldered, and that's really unusual for a production product. Uh, even in China, labor is cheap, but uh, hard to imagine this. They've um, also had some uh, design problems and they fixed them through just some bodges uh, here for example it's supposed to be a land pattern for a surface mount resistor and they've needed two resistors so they actually just soldered them up like a little um, little teepee uh, that's obviously not very good it's not going to have a long healthy life with that kind of solder quality um, just as you zoom down uh, with my camera to focus uh, it's um, you can see the whole thing's just been hand soldered, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and over here, uh, <laughs> interesting little uh, tidbit, uh, they needed a zero ohm resistor, um, and they're actually easily, easily procured. 
and uh, not very expensive, but uh, this little thing here is zero ohms, but they just um, decided to do, uh, put a slob of solder on and save the cost of the resistor. Uh, you can see that the uh, the LAN patterns here are uh, not gold plated and there's no dielectric grease on them. What that means is that they'll tend to wear out a little bit faster so the product won't have a great long service life. Um, other than that, actually, the board layout is quite clean, uh, to be honest. Uh, it's quite reasonable. Uh, it's just actually all hand assembled. So surprisingly, the other thing that you really notice a lot of really inexpensive Chinese electronics is no matter how poorly assembled they might be, they got just beautiful plastics. Uh, this has uh, clearly got some extra cutouts for some other functions, probably off for different models, uh, but yeah, the plastics were actually really quite nice. So there we have it, uh, the CP05 uh, clamp-on AC-DC current probe, another curiosity you can purchase out of eBay.